Hello, my name is Hector, and today we're going to be doing a tasting of this beautiful bottle of tequila named Tequila Rey de Copas. And if you can see it, it's actually shaped like a copa, a cup. Here we go. You have the nice little base, you have the nice curved sides, and of course the top is just supposed to be that flat surface there. Now let's go ahead and look at the logistics of this tequila. This tequila is fermented in stainless steel tanks. The steel type is stainless steel pots. They use the roller mill for the crushing and it's cooked in high pressure autoclave. Looking at this beautiful bottle, we can see that it's, you can see the color of it. It's slightly like a light brown. It is a reposado, so you're not gonna get that super dark color. So for the smell, I get some agave, some oak in there. Even though I still get a little bit of alcohol, it's still very, very light. So it's not that, you know, really strong alcohol on it. So, so let's go ahead and try it. You definitely have the agave flavor on it. Some, a little bit of oak and, and maybe a, a slight flavor of alcohol. It's a, I wouldn't say it's the strongest tequila I've tried. It's, it's, it's pretty mellow. And now for the grading. For the aroma from 0 to 25 points, I would give it an 18. It does have a very good smell. The agave, you know, you don't lose that, that agave smell with a little bit of hint of, of oak and a very, very small hint of uh, alcohol. For the flavor, out of uh, 30 points, I would give it a 23 because you do get that agave flavor. And if that's what you're looking for, that's exactly what it, what it is. You have a little bit of the oak and again, that alcohol, but it's very subtle. Okay. For the finish, there is absolutely no afterburn. So from zero to 25 points, I would give it a 20. Would I drink it again? Yes, that's a five points. Would I recommend it? It's a yes out of five points, so it's a five points for that. And for the value. Now this bottle was actually purchased in Mexico for under $20. I forget if it was $17, $18, but it was definitely under $20. That gives it the best value you can get, a 10 out of 10, okay? So that, gives us, that brings us to a total of 81 out of 100 points for a $20 bottle of tequila. That is some great points for this, for this bottle. Um, look look for it if you get to see it. Um, this is a great looking bottle. Um, not, I haven't seen it in the United States, but in Mexico, I've seen it a couple times. Remember to subscribe for more videos on tequilas. Thank you.